up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We're here at Workfort World Headquarters, so it's only right that we'd let you guys know. We've got our leather patch hats back in stock. So if you guys have been waiting for those, head over to WorkfortApparel.com and get you one. Now, the reason we're at the warehouse today is because it is finally the day. I don't know how long I've owned this thing. Like, I always say a year because that's when like, if I don't remember past however many months it's been, I just say a year. But, we've been sitting on this mini truck for a long time. She's been in the warehouse for a long time. We rebuilt the headache rack. We built the overhead rack. We gave it a super sweet rattle can paint job. We redid the bed. We replated it with some steel plates. Thanks to our good friends over at JC Metal Supply. We installed the gooseneck hitch. We put in a new hydraulic pump on this thing. And then the piece de resistance, we built this super sweet gooseneck trailer for it. Now the only thing that's left to do, well, actually there's two things, but today is the day she is going to the ranch. And I don't know about the trailer, it might be. They both won't fit on my, uh, my deck over trailer at the same time, unfortunately, otherwise I would take them both right now. But what's cool is we've got the lights wired up on the trailer, thanks to Sergio over at IEP-USA, as well as the trailer plug. This is all nice and wired up here. And for those of you that were concerned about me deciding that I didn't want to run a plug in the bed because this is a dump bed, this is going to get used, and we're actually going to use it today and try it out. I went ahead and had Sergio build me a nice long whip here and we're running the wiring off the front of the trailer there. And I think <laughs> with this much whip, we can turn with the gooseneck trailer and be just fine. I know you guys were all very concerned about that, but do not fear, we got this figured out. However, we have not tested the lights on the gooseneck trailer, hooking it up to the mini truck because, well, the plug's back there. So I'm gonna pull the mini truck out right now, we'll flip it around, and then we'll test the lights, see if those work. It's kind of an important thing before we leave here. And then we still have to make our little plug here for the gooseneck hole. One of you guys suggested taking a piece of two inch stock that slides into there and then welding on this circle piece that I cut out. I love that suggestion. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Now, unfortunately, the gooseneck uh, ball is actually, it's a two and a half inch. I don't have any, I only do have two inch stock. So you can see there's gonna be a little bit of slop in there. Now I did also save the circle that I cut out, but obviously when you cut something, you have to account for the thickness of the blade. So you can see she is a bit smaller there, which would leave a bunch of gaps for stuff to fall in. So since this is too small, and this is too small, which means they would kind of move around in there, which isn't the end of the world. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piece of square plate here. We'll let that sit over top, weld it onto the square stock. And then if it moves a little bit side to side, it's not that big of a deal. The hole is still covered. Gone ahead and got our two inch square stock centered up on our piece of flat plate. We're gonna use the old Miller Multimatic 220. We're gonna turn it way down here because we do not want to warp the crap out of that plate. And I'm only gonna put a couple of tack welds on there because this plate will get a big old bow in it if we put too much heat on it. Okay, we are welded up. Let's give her a little test fit. Looks like we did pretty good there. No bow in her. Yeah, I think I screwed up and uh, used my off cut instead of the actual piece I measured to cut for this. That's okay guys, we can always trim this short. Okay, after a quick poorly eyeballed cut, we have us a blocking plate there. And I think it's slim enough to where we don't have to worry, I think stuff will still slide over it. It's gonna move, I could drill a hole and pin it in place, but I really don't think it needs to. I don't think it's gonna come out when we dump. We'll give her a quick little coat of some spray paint and then uh, we'll pull the mini truck out, flip around, and see if the trailer light works. Now, she has been sitting for probably about four days now, I'd say. Let's see if she starts any easier now that she's got fresh spark plugs and the new battery. Okay, okay, okay. I just had to get a little fuel circulating in her. So let's back her out here and not hit the OBS. Probably should have cleared the back out there. All right, moment of truth. Let's get her plugged in here. And I think it's safe to say if the plug reaches, when I'm 180 degrees and uh, about a foot and a half away there. This thing will still turn. Let's flip the lights on and see what happens. Ho oh, ho, we got trailer lights. 
Woo, you got the running lights all down the side. Now the tail lights I still need to attach. Uh, Sergio was running late the night that he did this for me, so he didn't get a chance to attach these. So I'm just gonna self-tap these boogers into here. If you guys remember, I pre-drilled all the holes. That way everything is powder coated on that inner edge as well. And we weren't risking scratching the powder coat even though it's gonna be a ranch vehicle. All right, so those are gonna sit like that. Like we've even got the rear light right here. That one is a red one behind the axles. Let's see if the turn signals work. And there we go. Turn the uh, emergency flashers on. You can see everything is flashing perfectly. And these are also brake lights. So we'll worry about the trailer later tonight. I got to come back down here anyway to do work for it orders. A huge thank you to all of you guys that jumped in on the work for it Christmas in July sale. You guys are freaking awesome. We always appreciate a giant influx of orders like that. All right, tailgate. You are going back on here. You've got a lot of work to do with the ranch. I'm seriously surprised half of these hinges still work with how like tweaked and bent everything was when I got it. It's missing the center hinge there, but. All right, there, that side's on. hit it with a little more gas to get her up. Now I got these new ratchet straps from Keeper. Quite frankly, it was all that Home Depot had and I always lose ratchet straps, so I'm constantly rebuying. But it's got this little D-ring here and I like the fact that it's not sewn into one spot because then you're limited to what you can go around and hook. The fact that it floats freely is super cool because you can essentially get it to fit on any size or shape of object. And they're not super expensive. I think it was like 40 bucks for a four pack. So we'll see, you know, we'll give these a shot. You can see here on the actual ratchet portion, they did um, sew this into the webbing. So this one, you're limited to what you can go around. We are all strapped down. We're gonna call our little plug here dry enough. This thing's gonna get scratched to crap anyway. Um, I thought about putting some of the bed liner on the surface here so it would match this perfectly, but the can I had was empty and it's not worth buying a full can for, you know, 25 square inches there. So we'll just set that in place. Well, we have made it, y'all. Let's get this old girl unloaded and see if she is actually gonna be able to <laughs> do what I wanted to here at the ranch. I know I need to change these wheels and tires out and that will eventually happen. The straps seem like they did their job and they worked well. Let's get them undone here. Also, always undo your straps. I hate people that leave the strap in the ratchet. Let's get the ramps down and we're gonna find out real quick here how she does in the gravel. This bar is pretty tight packed. It's going up to the guest house. Um, it's a little inclined there. That stuff gets churned up. So the loose stuff's kind of right there. I should have got these freaking windows tinted before we left, or at least the windshield. And now this thing claims it's got air conditioning. I don't know what kind of rat poo poo comes out when you turn this thing on, but I feel like if we're lucky, we just have air that blows. Push. Oh, push. Probably gonna take a while to get cold. We'll leave that running and see what happens. Let's go see if we can find Papa Rhino. He's somewhere out in the excavator. Now, I know this thing's not gonna make it everywhere on the ranch. The ranch has got some pretty steep and loose dirt hills. So I know it's no side by side but it's also like less than a 30th of the cost of a side-by-side. -side. Oh, I spotted Papa Rhino. Oh man, the steering wheel's freaking hot. Actually, since we're going to, we should bring him some fuel. Look at that, guys. We're putting this thing to work immediately. Also, look what made it out to the ranch, guys. The old Mama Rhino Tahoe. Papa Rhino's been driving it out here while his truck's getting worked on. Oh, this thing's gonna come in clutch out here. No dust, we got an enclosed cab. I'll be damned, I don't know if it's because I'm sweaty or not, but this air coming out of here, like it feels cool-ish. 
Maybe the AC works. So Papa Round has been going around. So is Abel, Hefe, and Poppy, and they're weed whacking and cutting all along the fence line there. Just in case the fire rips through here again, I don't wanna have to spend a ton of money on fencing. So Papa Round has been using the blade there. Let's get him some fuel. I brought you some diesel. I'm good, I'm going up now. All right, all right guys, we gotta turn down. Papa Rano doesn't want our diesel. Now I don't really wanna bushwhack with this thing. I don't wanna scratch up my super sweet paint job. So we're gonna stick to all the roads around here. Let's open her up. It's nice having something faster than the golf cart. At least we can go 25 miles an hour with the governor kicking in. Time to make this old girl earn her keep. And this is what I am most excited about. When you guys hear what it is, you're gonna think it's super simple and dumb, but out here, man, it is the little things that make life a lot easier. So I'm not gonna park where I would normally park because the golf cart's in the way and let me show you guys kind of what happened to the golf cart. So I've got the truck backed up to our little wall here that separates basically the rest of the ranch from the grass section. And I don't have the biggest lawn in the world, but it's a decent sized lawn here. And when you're mowing it with a you know standard push mower, you gotta empty that bag a lot of times. And this grass actually grows pretty fast and I don't mow it every week like I should. So that means when I do go to mow it, it's like, oof, you could do one perimeter pass here and that'll fill a bag up. So you're emptying the bag, depending on how long it is, like anywhere from four to like eight times. If I'm on it regularly, I can mow this entire thing in two bags. But since I'm not on it and haven't been on it, it's probably gonna take a solid like four empties today. And unfortunately we can't just like throw it over the fence and give it to the animals. I tried that, uh, the world freaked out and was like, no, you can't give donkeys or horses fresh cut grass because it ferments in their stomach and all kinds of bad stuff happens. So we don't do that. That's a bad idea. Now, I also can't haul it to the dumpster because the dumpster's pretty far away. So if you're every bag walking all the way to the dumpster and back, it makes mowing the grass take forever. And that's part of the reason why I don't do it as often as I should because I just don't have the time. If any of you guys are local and you want to do my gardening, let me know because I would love to hire a gardener out here. So what I've been doing is I'll use the golf cart and I have the dump trailer for the golf cart and you'll be able to see here, I didn't realize it until after the fact, but there is a lot of grass clippings in here. And normally in mowing the lawn when it's long, it takes two trailer fulls to finish mowing the lawn. Well, you can see the golf cart has seen better days. Number one, we ripped off the entire rear half here, um, trying to tow Dedek's Jeep out that we got stuck. And number two, um, I don't know what happened to these tires, but that tire has completely popped off the bead. That one is flat. This thing's pretty much toast until we get some new tires on her and i think and let me know if you guys want to see me like revamp this whole thing i think it would be cool at this point you know to like put new wheels and tires lift kit all that like if i'm gonna do it we might as well just do it right being that that thing's down i have not had a good way to like empty my lawn clippings they've all just been going in here and then kind of shrinking up as it dried out so one of the reasons i was so excited about the mini truck is the fact that it's got a dump bed because even with this i have to pull this trailer all the way out in the field i get away from where the animals are um, I dump all the grass, come back, do this multiple times, but you have to get out, pull lever on the trailer, dump it, come back, blah, 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 whatever. It's, it's more of a process than it needs to be. Now, when you have a sweet mini truck, like that one right there, with a dump bed that you can dump from inside the cab, and it's a massive bed, it's literally gonna take one trip of mowing this lawn, throwing it in the bed here, and I just get to drive out in the field, hit the button, dump it, and we're good. Like I've been so excited about that. It's the main reason I wanted this thing up here. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a workhorse for a lot of other stuff, but like, I'm, you guys have no idea how excited I am for this. Like, I'm so excited. It's a hundred something degrees right now, but I'm like stoked. I'm gonna mow the lawn.
Well, we didn't do that bad today, guys. This will be my fourth bag of grass. Now, the one animal that can have the grass is this old guy right here. There you go, yep. Good stuff, good stuff. It is crazy how much more this bed holds. This will be like half a trailer right here, a little bit more. I'm telling you guys, it's the little things. I am so excited right now to go dump this. Now, most of the grass out here is doing absolutely killer, aside from the spots where the horse pees on the grass. I don't know what it is about female dog pee, but man, does it kill the grass like instantly. And I don't know what to do about it. I mean, clearly she has to pee out here like three or four times a day. If any of you guys have any tips on how to keep her pee from doing that to the grass, let me know. Um, there's also a little dry spot over here. We've done some maneuvering on the uh, sprinklers to kind of fix this. Big Walt, are you really trying to get in there, aren't you, buddy? Big Walt, that can't be fun, man. Those are pokey. So excited. We get to go dump some grass, which is probably the most boring thing in the world to some people, but I'm stoked on it. I probably honestly could just leave a pile of this in Big Walt and his giantness and however many stomachs a cow has. would we'll probably handle it, but we don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the tailgate now because I don't think a lot of this is gonna bounce out. But let's go dump this out away from the animals. Here we go. Everything's staying in, everything is staying in. We, we've driven pretty far right now. Big Walt is like pacing us trying to get over here. It's not the smoothest ride to get out here. However, the mini truck is making it just fine. And we are here. Let's dump this thing. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's everything I ever wanted. That's the thing that was the license plate. All right, how'd we do? Oh, look at that. Would you just look at that? Put the bed back down and we're done. So much nicer than the golf cart, even though the golf cart was, you know, nicer than walking. So I just went out to go lift the tailgate and well, we don't, we don't have a tailgate. I wonder if the tailgate got caught on the hitch and some weird stuff happened when it went up because it swung underneath. Good news is my little plate stayed in place though and that's with literally no pin in, no nothing, just setting her in there. Tailgate just barely fell off. Yeah, I'm thinking it hit the hitch. All right, now let's go check on the progress of Chava and Jefe. See how they're doing weed whacking the fence line. Dude, this thing is just cutting through ruts. I don't need no four wheel drive lifted mini truck. Stock height on little skinny tires, man. We're getting around out here. Watch out, baby goats. We're coming through. And the little drainage ditch. Oh, Papa Rhino left us some, some spoils there. Oh, oh, no problem. No problem. Oh, look at this. We got Hefe right here. I don't know where Chava's at. Chava probably went to go grab his truck. Is she gonna make it up this hill? Is she gonna make it up this hill? No problem for the mini truck. Yep, Chava's going to grab his truck. We'll give him a ride. Come on, puppy. This is beautiful. Muy limpio. These guys have absolutely been busting their butt, weed whacking all the fence line. Again, the last thing we want is another fire to rip through here and just be out a ton more money in fencing materials. I'm beyond impressed right now on the mini truck. I didn't think it'd make its way all the way around the property. This road has not been maintained in a while and it is rough, but she is making it. We're gonna have to bushwhack a little bit here. I don't want to bushwhack too much. Oh, this thing's so sick. I'm dust free beats the golf cart. Since we're doing a lap around the properties, let's go check on the in and out trees over here at the Rhino Ranch entrance. Make sure they are doing good still. We've got them on a uh, little hokey sprinkler system that I rigged up here just kind of on the temporary. That way they're watered about three times a day here. Yeah, works out well. We've got a soaker hose that runs around and then I ended up running two more pipes in the ground. If you guys didn't see the video of when we installed these, I always like to put um, drainage pipe, like three inch drain pipe like that in the ground. That way you have a direct line all the way down to the bottom of the roots versus trying to water on the surface like this and hoping it gets down two feet, which good luck on getting the water down that far. These tubes ensure you can get water all the way down. Tree check is good for the day. Kind of looks like a good combo right there with the old Hyundai on the rock. However, don't get it twisted. One is Korean, one is Chinese. Now we gotta go find a good place to park this girl because obviously I don't have a garage or a shop out here yet. Um, yes, both are gonna happen at some point. I need garages for the house and then a shop for all the toys and everything else. However, all of that takes a lot of time and a lot of money. Every day I'm working towards my goals, we'll get them eventually. Plan A, parking spot didn't work. So I guess she gets to 
live in the driveway for now. Our homemade plexiglass window worked. I mean, this thing is sealed all the way around. No critters, no dust, no bugs are gonna get in there. Super, super stoked to have this thing at the ranch. Can't wait till it gets dark and we'll try out all the light bars. Um, I think we're gonna head back to the warehouse and possibly grab the trailer. The only issue is I need the forklift to get the trailer onto the other trailer. But the forklift's kind of being occupied right now holding Paparano's F450 bed. So I'm not sure if that's gonna happen today. Well, I have decided we're going for it tonight, guys. We're going to try to get the trailer. Chris, you gonna, you gonna get this thing all fixed for me or finished? It's done. It's not done. We're missing some lug nuts. We gotta get all the lug nuts on. We gotta put the dust covers over um, the axles there. I should probably go through and tighten everything on the suspension that I don't know that I ever tightened. Coming over. Thoroughly surprised, but I think we have every single lug nut. Now, all the little toe tests and stuff that you saw us do with this trailer was all with <laughs> loose hardware on the uh, leaf springs and hangers and stuff down here. So let's actually get this stuff tightened up now for good. Now, the proper way to do this is to tighten it from the nut side because it has these little ridges on the actual bolt side, so they like lock into the metal. But I decided to weld this piece on here. It kinda, kinda, kinda gets in the way there of tightening that nut. Now we use our self tapper, put some threads in her. This is the poor man's cap and die set right here. Then because obviously these are way too long, we just snip them down with the old bandsaw. Now we just screw her on. All right, we are done. Chris thinks we're gonna be able to push it up on the trailer. Easy. Easy? I mean, I know when we took it off, your back was hurt and I had to like take the entire weight of it going down. No, you didn't. You don't remember that? YouTube.com slash DMAXRhino, check it out, watch the video. All right, now I am worried. We're putting a lot of stress on this tongue jack here, especially when we go over the little like drainage swell right there. All right, there goes the nothing. <laughs> Dude, this is about to come off, hold on. I know. Can you pick up the front? See how strong you are, dog? Oh, look at that. All right. Don't let it roll into my truck. <laughs> Whatever happens. You got insurance, right? Yeah, but. I don't got a good body shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully she doesn't slip off here. This is a fun ride, man. Appreciate it. Look, I can steer. Hey, I think it's the first time you're pushing me. Normally I'm pushing you. All right, buddy. You realize how much steeper that ramp is than it looks, right? All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna clear. All right, ready? Ready. One, two, three. I ain't got no tread left on the work, dudes. <laughs> Dude, I have no traction. There's sand. That's why you put me. These shoes, bro. Ready? One, two, three. All right, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. We got further than I thought we'd get. Uh, we need to make that next transition. That's the problem. Let me lower the, this a little bit more. We gotta like rock it past that joint in the ramps. <laughs> Man, it'd be nice to have a winch. One, two, three. Okay, well, shit, there's a difference. One, two, three. Oh, we can go. <laughs> My bad, dog. This might work. All right, ease up on it. There we go. Uh, uh, kinda. Dude, I feel so many mosquitoes right now, too. What the hell, where'd they all come from? All right, we're going for smarter, not harder here. We we built us a come along. We just gotta get it over this hump and then we can carry it. Let's see if I can push it at all. And then me just tighten it. Uh, I don't know. Push! Oh, we got a couple inches. I wonder if at this point, you know, we, we both give it another good, another good heave ho. Now that we got the safety strap, you know, it can't come flying oh, back at us. Oh my God, you. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the skeeters are kind of gnarly. I don't know where they all just came wow. from. Well, I got the wheel chuck right here that we can just we'll toss it back under. Hurry up, man. I'm getting eaten. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how 
out and we can get run to street. <laughs> just go down, just go down. It's gonna sit right on the corner of that furniture mover. Let me get some lights on on this dang trailer. All right, maybe the lights will attract him over there while we continue to load. Oh, we're, so, we're so close. Uh, all right, one good push, ready? One, two, three. Uh, we got it. I mean, that is, that is a beautiful loading job right there. Beautiful loading job. I'm pleasantly surprised it's not falling right now. Oh shit. Let's just both pick up on the front and shoot. Nice and easy. Good work. Okay guys, well, we gotta do our obligatory. That ain't going anywhere. We are all strapped down. I'm going to uh, finish up doing the workboard orders tonight. We're gonna head up to the ranch. And I'll see you guys in the morning when we figure out how we're gonna get this off by ourselves. Alrighty, y'all. I've got us a game plan here on how to get this off the trailer. Don't know if it's gonna work. Just realized I might have pulled too far back. Well, I don't know, we're gonna see. So my original plan was I was gonna back up to this uh, little retaining wall here. We're gonna use this kind of like a loading dock, but being that this trailer is so long, plus the crew cab long bed truck, like there's no way to get this trailer like squared up or perpendicular to this wall. So I decided, eh, screw it. We'll just kind of pull up parallel. There's a little bit of a gap there, but that's not that big of a deal. I think I can pick the front of the trailer up by myself, turn it, hopefully this four x four is not in the way here, and then we'll back the mini truck up, connect it, and yank it off. I don't know, that's all I got. I mean, we do have the mini X, we could probably chain this up, but then we're gonna end up scratching it all up, so. But we're gonna try that first. Jack her up a little higher here. Okay, here goes nothing. No, we're, gonna, we're not gonna hit the lights. Oh, jeez. This thing got a lot heavier. You gotta be a strong man here. I should have weighed this before we came out to the ranch. We're almost there, guys. Woo. Now she don't want to turn. I'm gonna call that angle good enough. I think we can back the mini truck right up here. We're gonna get her off. Let's crank her up. She gotta go a lot higher. Hope I got enough uh, up on the jack here. Mini truck, hopefully you enjoyed your first night here and hopefully you fire up. Oh yeah. Let's pull our little block off plate here. We'll put our ball in. And we just lost the tailgate. Let's get all nice and backed up here. Are we gonna clear? Oh, we are a little low. A little low. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, oh, perfect fit. Locked on. Air jack way up high. Well, I'll be damned y'all, that worked freaking flawlessly. And we now have the mini truck trailer combo out at Rhino Ranch. I am so stoked. This has been a long day coming. Let's go, let's go mob her around for a second. See how she tows, but so far so good. Towed right up that hill pretty easily. We'll put the tailgate back on later. Ain't need, no need to worry about that. I am definitely glad that I uh, set it up so we can put pins in the dump bed here. Otherwise there'd be a lot of stress on this bed. Especially being, uh, you know, ain't, ain't no roads out here. Everything's off road. Look at her back there. So sick. Let's do our first errand here. And let's uh, go down to the Rhino Ranch entrance. We gotta, you know, recheck our palm trees. Gotta check them daily. Well, y'all, apparently my little watering tubes here acted like uh, some animal traps. So in this one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Probably not. I don't know what the GoPro's looking like. We got a lizard in this one. And then on this side, we got us a little mouse down in there. So I cut these flush because I was hoping that soaker tube would actually, uh, you know, fill up these things and I didn't have to manually, but that doesn't really work. So I think I'm gonna raise these up a little bit higher. I don't want these to be animal traps. Now we gotta get these little boogers out. This mouse is gonna be an interesting one here to get out. If you were in my house, you know, we'd kill it. But out here, hey, we're gonna rescue him. I don't really have much that's gonna be able to fit down in there, so hopefully the mouse knows to grab this here stick. Oh, maybe? 
Grab on the stick. Apparently there was two. One did not make it. This is gross. Come on, little guy. Grab the stick. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on, man. You got you got to hold the stick longer. So far, things aren't going as planned. So it's kind of slim pickets down here at the gate on what we can use. But I'm going to try and lasso him now with some tie wire that I found. Let's see if this will work. There we go. There we go, little buddy. There we go, little buddy. We got you out, man. We got you out. Oh, you're a little baby. Don't go back in, okay? Whatever you, whatever you do. There you go. Yeah, go, go on. Just, just go somewhere else. There you go. All right. See you later. Well, one rescue down. Let's see if the lizard cooperate. Oh, uh, lizard might be a little easier there. There we go. All right, we got us a lizard. Two successful rescues. We might just have to turn this into a rescue channel, like uh, you know everybody else is doing in the world on YouTube. All right. Well, we got the the dead one there to float to the top, so we're just gonna fish him out of there. We'll go ahead and get rid of you. We'll give you a nice. Uh, you know, Viking funeral or whatever. I did go ahead and raise these up. So we're up about uh, two and a half inches there. That one went up a little bit higher. So hopefully no more critters down in these holes. Now let's do a little test of our cord length here for the trailer plug. Let's see, if I think we're plenty long. Now, obviously it dragging on the ground is a bad idea. It's not right now, it's just barely above it, but we'll figure out the right length that we can tie up there to where it's not dragging on the ground. I just don't want it super tight right now while we do a little, little turn test. Let's, let's turn the lights back on, make sure everything's working. Tail lights, everything cool back here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Now we're gonna execute a really sharp turn here. Almost jackknife this thing. I think it's safe to say we're gonna be just fine with that wiring. Now, I gotta run to town and do some errands. We're gonna wait for the sun to go down so we can see how this whole setup looks like lit up at night. And we are back as we got another beautiful sunset over here at Rhino Ranch, but check this booger out. All nice and done and lit up. I'm gonna switch cameras here so it's not as grainy. Look at this bad boy. This thing turned out super, super sick. Again, a huge thank you to Sergio over at IEP-USA.com. Huge thank you to JC Metal Supplies, Swift Powder Coat, and all the homies that jumped in to help me on this thing. This thing turned out super, super sick. Oh, look at those taillights. Look for freaking rad. We'll turn on all the upper lights here for you guys. So you guys can kind of so see what those look like. Again, these are Nye lights off of Amazon, super cheap, but uh, I think they're gonna be perfect for this application. Turn on our controller here. Let's just get them all lit up. Look at that bad boy. Got the rear lights in the bed. Look at, they even light up the trailer. We've got side lights on each side. And then of course our light bar on the front, which lights up pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with these things for how cheap they were. The old mini truck, finally at the ranch, looking good. I was just doing some kind of light bushwhacking over there a minute ago, so hopefully I didn't scratch up my super sweet rattle camp paint job, but this thing's gonna be freaking killer. I think we've got the uh, length figured out right there on our uh, trailer plug. We can make full dang near 180 degree turns with this thing at that length and it's up off the ground. It might snag on something. We'll keep an eye on it though. Don't worry about that. But man, does this thing look freaking killer out here i can't wait to see how big of a help this thing's gonna be at the ranch and bring you guys along with it and i mean we, we take it out in the back country and see if we can't get the old mini truck there stuck but with that we're gonna wrap up as always thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed already please hit the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content and don't forget to give this video a like a thumbs up don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life you gotta be willing to work for it i have never built a trailer in my life barely learned how to mig weld while building this trailer and uh, I think we built something very cool by just grinding it out and putting in the work. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.